Can everyone do me a favor and stand up real quickly? Inhale. Exhale. Now I need everyone to thank God that that was not your last breath. That was deep, wasn't it? Raise your hand if you have your dreams written down. Raise them high, raise your hands high. For everyone who does not have their hand down, do me this one favor. And if you know what your dream is, write it down. Because the key to success, the multiple keys to success, is really, really simple here. Now, by writing your dreams down, you will actually increase your chances of, it, uh, of them happening by a thousand percent. Did you know that? By simply writing it down. So if you know what your dream is, do me this one favor and just write it down. While all of this is happening, I wrote down in the present tense that I'm going to become a best-selling author. I wrote down that I'm going to run into all these celebrities and everyone's going to write my, everyone's going to wear my pen. I wrote down that I'm going to get tweeted by such and such. Before all this happened, I wrote every single thing down because I knew it was what I wanted, it was what I wanted to do. So write down what you want to do. And you cannot see the picture when you're in the frame. You need a mentor. You need someone to guide you. You need to seek a mentor. That is so key. I know I wanted to publish a book. What did I go do? I actually went and sought out someone who published a book before. Got some advice from them. I wanted to speak. What did I do? I sought out a, a successful speaker who was getting paid to speak. So I got information from them. I wanted to market myself, so I sought out someone who was good at marketing so I could do it myself. So you need to, one, write your dreams down. Two, you need to seek a mentor because that is so key. You can't do it by yourself. Michael, Michael Jordan had a coach. LeBron has a coach. Beyond everyone that's currently successful that you may idolize and look at now has a coach. They have someone teaching them and leading them along the way. R raise your hand if you currently have a mentor. Someone that you confide in. Like whenever, whenever things, things get real, you go to them and they actually give you advice and show you what you need to do. That is great. But raise your hand if you don't know what you want to do. Don't have a clue. Now the question I want to ask you guys is, what do you do for free? What do you do in your spare time? Because nine times out of ten, that is what that is what your gift is. You do it naturally. You don't even think about it. We live in a country where people get paid for anything. <laughs> anything. You can, you, can, you can make a vine and go viral. People get paid for anything. So you gotta find out what you really want to do. For me, it was poetry. I know I like to write, I know I like to share my poetry with people, and I realized that that was my gift. The only, the, the only goal and the only space where people really get things, like they get confused, like this is what I want to do, how can I get paid for it? I went to college and I, and I, for five years, I've seen people, they chased a degree, but they didn't chase their passion. They didn't chase their passion at all. They're like, oh, well, I'm gonna leave out here and make 80K, 100K a year, but they're miserable. Someone is looking for exactly what you have to offer. Whatever you do, someone will pay you handsomely for it if you realize what it is and you, you perfect it and you do it every single day. So what would you do now without being paid for it? Like right now, what's your hobby? What would, what would you do now for free? Because me, I would write poetry for free, I speak for free, I go to these open mics for free because it's something that I love to do. For those who do not know what they want to do, you have to take the time out. Please take the time out. Don't do it for me, but do it for yourself. This weekend, not even tonight, do yourself a favor and just sit down with a pen and pad and just really think to yourself, what do I love to do? So everything I showed you was not to impress you, but to impress upon you that I had a dream and I acted towards it. You have to act. A dream means nothing if you don't wake up and act towards it. So um, a, a quote here says, once your vocation becomes your vacation, you reach the pinnacle in life. Every time, I, like this is my third speech this week, every time I have a speech, I, there, there is no curfew, there is no, oh, I wake up and I just want to stay in bed because I'm excited. I am passionate about what I do. Find out what you are passionate about and figure out how you can get paid for it because you can get paid to do anything. So uh, make some noise if you want to hear this poem. Let 
me tell you of a place where abundance occupies the space. It's not Africa where you can find diamonds. It's not in the Middle East where there is oil. Yet it is placed deep within nature's soil. A place where there are enough resources to leave legacies. But since none of them were acted upon, they are now history. The wealthiest place on earth is the cemetery, where the world's greatest talents, ideas, and abilities lay buried. See, potential is only energy standing still. And for those who let fear overcome their will, like their bodies, their dreams remain still. Many believe that they can tiptoe through life to gain a sense of security. But in fact, they risk nothing, and that's the greatest jeopardy. Do not let your impulse to dream die. Do not let your right to wealth be denied. Do not let your impulse to dream die. Do not let your right to wealth be denied. A person doesn't die when he or she reaches the grave. They die when their dreams do. A person doesn't die when he or she reaches the grave. They die when their dreams do. So let your dreams live and your fears die and continue on your pursuit.